The Muppets are back in a brand new show up on Disney+. Plus. I just watched the sixth and final episode and I am here to break it down one last time and let you know what I think. So I hope you'll join me after the intro. Well, hello there. My name is Jeremy and welcome back to Freeform Disney, where I talk about all aspects of Disney, from the animated movies to the theme parks to Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar, and the TV shows, and everything else in between. And that is why it's Freeform. And keep coming back every day for new daily content. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today we're watching the new show Muppets Now. Now this is the sixth and final episode of season one. And it is titled Socialized, and that means that tying all the sketches together is going to be Robin bringing in social media references and trying to get Scooter a faster computer. And all this works well enough this time. Now, I'll be honest, I think these in-between pieces have often been one of the weakest elements of Muppets now. But this one has enough laughs and Easter eggs in it to probably be one of the best of the entire bunch. Some of those Easter eggs are seeing Beverly Plume's herb garden is full of life. Well, aphids and mites. And Joe from Legal is giving notice that the social media company, The Pad, has decided to update its user privacy by choosing not to practice user privacy. <laughs> uh, oh, and then Miss Piggy's little crowdfunding campaign apparently raised 58 cents from 86 supporters? Dying. <laughs> so there were some good pieces in there. Well, anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the sketches. So first up, it was off to Muppets Lab. Now, the punchline for the legal piece before Muppets Lab had a beautifully delivered punchline after the end of some back and forth over where people could not try these experiments. <laughs> Kermit closed the whole thing after they decided with otherwise enjoy. You're not obligated to enjoy. <laughs> it just hit just right. Well, and then we were off to Muppet Labs itself, and the special guest this time was, well, Joe from Legal. And he actually made a great guest. In fact, so much so that I thought this was actually the best of all the Muppet Lab sketches. Although, I will say, as far as the experiments themselves are concerned, the most fun was the time that we did burning and melting of things. But hey, we still got some elephant toothpaste this time, and oh, it's always cool looking. But yeah, Joe over there? No, sir. Cease and desist. Motion to dismiss. Objection. Deniability. Take the fifth. I'm not here. <laughs> uh, worked so well. <laughs> Indeed. Then we were off to Okie Dokie Cooking for one last time. Now this time we had Mariana Mitchelson and, well, the best part of this one was actually the couple times that Kermit accidentally ends up interrupting the sacred temple of the cooking challenge. And... As it just was fourth wall breaking in just the right way. It happened early on enough that I just expected there to be some more fourth wall breaks. And we didn't really have them, surprisingly. But still, it was enjoyable. Beverly Plume's frustration with the Swedish chef was pushed a little bit further and was definitely enjoyable. And intriguingly, not being able to see what the Swedish chef was actually doing, but just getting suggestive and absurd hints worked quite well. And then we were on to Mup Close and Personal. And that was easily the best of this week's sketches. And I do mean that. Whoa. And for what it's worth, I think Mup Close and Personal was the overall best of the various different recurring sketches for Muppets now. We only got three of them, but ooh, they were each really good. This time our host is Fozzie and he's interviewing Seth Rogen. Yay! First off, Fozzie is here. We finally get a decent section with Fozzie. Random side note, I actually have a Fozzie Christmas tree ornament, which is actually my only Muppets ornament. And, well, you can tell I really, really like Fozzie. Now, in this sketch here, the two of them play off of each other so, so well. Love Fozzie and Seth Rogen playing this one here. Oh, tons of fun. What we do for this is we bring in babies because Fozzie is apparently babysitting. So the best way to look after babies is by ignoring them? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and having the worst babies there who are constantly trying to do dangerous things, well, it just worked so well and it was so funny. 
And Seth Rogen was probably one of the best guests I think the entire first season has had. I just really appreciated his comedic chops there, and I thought he was one of the best for realistically interacting with the Muppets. I mean, oof, just loved this one. You don't want to say babies are bad, but these are bad babies. Sword fighting babies, the babies purposely falling down and saying, Rogan? Is there one word they really know? <laughs> and then, night, night, Rogan. I am not your father, child. <laughs> <laughs> I would easily rewatch this one. This is probably my favorite sketch out of the entire show. I am pretty sure this one takes it. Oh, it just definitely got me really laughing. <laughs> oh, this was good. Well, the last sketch, as you can probably expect, was Miss Piggy's lifestyle. And the interesting thing, this time we actually had Uncle Deadly doing a lot of the hosting for one reason or another throughout it. And oh, what fun! It worked quite well, actually. And how about the Tay Diggs section, where Miss Piggy surprisingly gets attacked by all the animals she is offended by not wanting those special treatments? And then Tay Diggs watches and is like, Can I go next? <laughs> now, the big theme for this one was that there was a big recurring joke using a sponsorship with the product being Leaky Bucket. And eventually, Miss Piggy just has it with the bucket, and, well, she kicks the bucket. She just loses it, and we see her going to town on the bucket with a baseball bat and all. And then she amusingly finds the bucket to be indestructible, and, hey, wow, this is a really good bucket. Who makes this? <laughs> good punchline at the end of that whole piece. It was a mm, nice build. Nicely played. I gotta say, definitely one of my favorite of the lifestyle ones. Maybe my favorite. Debatable right up there. And then, well, we ended the whole episode with a whole bunch of cat videos. And who doesn't like a feel-good ending like that, right? And hey, well, that's it. There you have it. That is it for Season 1 of Muppets Now. And I've gotta say that this was clearly my favorite episode of the entire season. Every sketch, I think, succeeded, with some being really, really good. And I laughed a ton during this one. Way to go out with a bang. Now, if I could have made one change, I would have switched out Okie Dokie Cooking for one more time of Pepe's unbelievable game show. But even so, this Okie Dokie Cooking was probably number two or number three for me out of the five that we saw in the first season. So you can tell this one is right up there, my favorite sketch of the entire season with Mup Close and Personal debatably my favorite of the different lifestyle ones, my number two or three for Okie Dokie Cooking, my favorite Muppet Labs. Yeah, this one, mm, for me, just fired on all cylinders. Overall thoughts on Muppets Now. I think the show can be, well, let's be honest, really uneven. It certainly can hit some highs, and it does, but it also hits quite a few lows. If you've been watching, you know that I wasn't a giant fan of episodes four and five. Now, if there are future seasons, hopefully we will start to get more consistent highs as everyone starts to gel better together and they have a better feel for what works and what doesn't work. I certainly laughed and really enjoyed some episodes and sketches. Even if there were times that I kind of wanted a refund on some of my time spent. But overall, I definitely enjoyed the show and would love to go ahead and see a season two. And hey, here are my hopes for a season two. First off, some more variety in the sketches. There's so many more places we can go. And also, hey, on top of that, on top of some more recurring sketches, why not some that aren't recurring sketches? Just some one-offs, which could be really fun. And for some of the sketches I'd love to see, uh, how about some stand-up with Fozzie or something with the great Gonzo? Also, I want to see Animal and Electric Mayhem get a real spot. And poor Rolf never got a chance this season. And... I'd love to see more of the rats and Uncle Sam, and who knows, maybe some pigs in space? Well, hey, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed taking this journey with me through Season 1 of Muppets Now. I really do enjoy making these videos and getting to interact with everyone who makes comments down on the videos. Just love it. Thank you everyone who watches, who clicks that like button, who leaves a comment or responds back to a comment for me too. Just, yeah. Hopefully, I will see you around on some of the other videos on the channel. And now, one last time for Muppets Now, well, what about you? 
What did you think of season one? And what would you like to see in a season two? Let me know down below in the comments. And thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Give it a like, share it with anyone else you think will too, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for another new episode of Freeform Disney. Have a magical day, and may the force be with you. Always.